Hey guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're at Winter Nam 2014 at the Amp Tweaker booth talking to James Brown. James, good. How are you doing? Great. Cool. You guys have a new box here that's a little bit bigger, thus the big rock. And tell us about that. Well, last summer show we showed our Tight Metal Pro, and we've been getting a lot of requests for two button pedals all along. This is this type. This uh, Big Rock Pro is the new version that covers the rock territory. Last year I did the Fat Rock, which is a tweaked version of the Tight Rock, and they're similar in so many ways that I decided to make the one pedal called Big Rock that covers both territories. You can get all the different, you know, singing kind of rock tones out of it, plus you can get the more aggressive, chunkier rock tones of the Tight Rock. Cool. Now, ever since you started your own company, a big part of the mantra has been just listening to feedback from your people who are into the stuff you've done in the past for other companies right. who knew about your you know you have a pretty impressive reputation for we won't name names but yeah. unless you want I've to done a lot of amps in the past. <laughs> you've done a lot of famous amps we'll put it that way look him up so has that always been has that remained the mantra with every pedal since then and if so what can you tell us about what people were asking for with the big rock yeah, that's, that was kind of the whole key. I held off on the two-button pedals as long as I could because we were getting so many different kinds of things people were asking for. Things like, you know, why don't you do one that's got this pedal and that one in the same box? And then other people just would say things like, can you just make a fat rock with a boost button on it? That kind of thing. I also talked to a lot of people last summer about the Type Metal Pro looking for things that they didn't like about our pedals. And I got, of course, plenty, plenty of uh, objections to various details and things. So I tried to incorporate some switches and things in there so you can tweak that stuff and actually, you know, rein in a larger audience that way. So sort of the initial impetus for this pedal was just listening to people saying, hey, we want basically a two-channel pedal. But then right. it went beyond that with incorporating stuff from... Like you said, from the Type Metal Pro, people said about what people said about that. And of course, the minute we came out with the Type Metal Pro, I knew that one was going to do well because we sell so many Type Metals and get a lot of positive feedback from artists and everything. But I, but, but you know, two days after the show, I started getting beaten up for a rock version of it. So we immediately started trying to figure out how we could couple the various techniques and together and make a rock version of the pedal. Okay, James. Before we hear some more out of the uh, big rock. Do you want to walk through all the switches and knobs? Just briefly tell us what e okay. each one does. The basic premise is it's a it's a it has a three band EQ, low, mid, and high right here. The same gain, tight, and volume from the other pedals. Uh, it's got a built-in noise gate, and the noise gate uh, tracks the volume control of the gain. So when you turn the gain up higher, you get more noise gate and when you turn it down lower you get less noise gate and then there's internal adjustments to the noise gate so you can crank it way up like the tight metal or way down like the fat rock there's a lot of flexibility there there's a tone control here called an edge switch that allows you to take some of the extreme high end off of the notes there's a mid plex eq switch that's the same as what's on the two rock pedals that we sell and then on the back, you've got two effects loops, one that works whenever the pedal's on, and then a second one that comes on with the boost switch on the front. Now, a lot of pedals have boosts, and they'll just have like a gain boost or something like that. On this one, when you turn on the boost, there's actually two, there's actually two pots that kick in, a boost gain and a boost volume. So you can really dial in. If you just want your sound to get a little bit louder, you can do that. Or if you want it to get quite a bit more gain and volume, you can do that. Um, cool. Now remind us again what the little black plastic button in the middle of each one does. Okay. On the back of each pedal right here, this is one of the. This is a battery switch. It turns the battery off and on, uh, so you don't have to unplug it if you're using batteries in the line of a bunch of pedals and stuff. And there's also 
in these pedals, you can run two batteries in it. It's got a place for two batteries, or you can switch it to nine volt and just run it on nine. And that way, if a guy wants to get that 18 volt sound that we do with all our pedals, they don't have to have an 18 volt power supply. They can just throw a couple of batteries in there and do it. That's really cool, ingenious features. This one feature here called Sidetrack, which is kind of our proprietary cool thing, that's, that's a, a third loop on all of our pedals, on a lot of our rock pedals and stuff. That loop comes on when the pedal's off. So if you have something else you want to alternate between, you can put it in there, leave it on, and just kick this switch on and off, and it'll automatically go over to that other pedal. For example, here, when I turn this off, I've got the Tight Metal Pro patched into that sidetrack loop. So at the end of this, I'll show you how I can just switch between those two sounds real quickly without having to hit two different pedals. Wow, that's super handy. First, I'll show you what the, here's the clean tone. I'm playing uh, an Electra through one of the new Schecter Hellraiser combos, which I worked on these amps with those guys. Okay. So that's the clean tone. And then here's the straight up sound. Okay, gain switch, you can kick in a lot more again. And then here's the noise gate, you hear that? I've got the noise gate set to where it's not real heavy on the noise gate, it's kind of a light. Because right, you don't have that much gain dialed in anyway. I have a whole lot of gain and I, I like it to be able to, you know, the notes to feel good, you know. And I'm only halfway up on the gain, so the noise gate's not kicking in as much anyway. Here's max gain. The EQ is real flexible. You can get a lot of mid boost. Or you can get even a scoop sound. Here's the... Uh, edge switch which that's pretty handy if you had like a single coil guitar and it's just too harsh when you go for this much gain or if you're playing through a you know a twin or something that's extremely bright that might be a good switch to have or if you just want a more singing mellow kind of a lead tone this plexi EQ makes it sound a little bit more like a stack and then even with it just set flat now I'll kick on the boost here's just so you can hear what the fat switch sounds like this is the boost without any gain or anything without it So that's showing you what that fat switch sounds like internally. You can turn that on either the normal sound or the boosted or both. Then here's the volume and the gain. And then I'll kick in this delay so you can go from just a rhythm. Man, James, this thing is diverse, so anything else you want to tell us about it? Or actually, you haven't brought in the Type Metal Pro yet, have you? Yeah, what I wanted to do is just show you a quick comparison between the two. Here I've got this, the, uh, I've got the Big Rock Pro set on a fairly metal kind of tone. So you can see that it'll, you can see that it will do those kind of, kind of sounds. Here's the Big, the uh, Type Metal Pro. I'm switching through the sidetrack to pick it. So that's completely bypassing the uh, the big rock sound and just right. bringing in the tight metal pro. Exactly, and and of course the point was you can get a fairly metal tone out of this, and if you need more metal, this is the guy. 
this pro tight metal pro. Of course, a lot of people will end up probably using something like this for their solos while they use the tight metal or the tight metal pro for their heavy rhythms. You know, especially if uh, guys that are doing detuned stuff like seven and eight strings, this with the fat switches in it, it really helps the, the low end come out on those big string instruments. This is really cool. So is this available right now? The Big Rock, we're, we're planning on being able to ship these as soon as we get back from NAMM. And do you have a price set yet, a street yeah, it's, price? It's two ninety nine, dollars same as the Type Metal Pro. Sweet. Where can people go to find out more about it online? You can go to amptweaker.com. Sweet. Thanks, James. Okay. I'm Sean Hamlin for PremierGuitar.com. Thanks for watching.